Hello and welcome. It's time for another Amulet stream because it's Amulet Thursdays. Uh, today I wanted to basically try out a couple of crazy ideas that uh, that I've been thinking about lately. Number one, we are playing uh, Stronghold, but we're not playing Sunholm. I am very much not sure about this, but uh, Sunholm is kind of like the worst line in the deck. Yes, it has some situations where it's, of course, just busted, but... Um, not having access to a, to an actual combo kill can potentially be be a problem in, in some situations and in some matchups. Uh, but we're gonna see how that works out. Uh, in place of that, what I'm doing is I'm adding a Kid Triad Triumph from the list that I played the other day. And um, this card is kind of medium, but it, like the fact that we can fetch for it is kind of nice. Um, I wanted to try to make room for another fetch land actually in the list, but I there, there was nothing that I wanted to cut from the main deck, so we're gonna see how that works out. Um, we're actually gonna be splashing red, so that's why we have the full four Gruel Turfs, um, at, in addition to the, the Crumbling Vestige, of course. Uh, then the main deck is gonna be pretty much the same that I played on Monday, with four Gracers, one Scout, three Explorers, two Uros in the main deck. And I kinda like this configuration. Uh, the, the craziness is going to come from the sideboard over here. Uh, we're going to be playing three copies of Negate. Uh, this is because of the uh, the uptick that we've seen in decks like Ad Nauseam and stuff like that. Um, it's going to be a little bit worse against the blue decks, where, of course, this feud is a little bit better. But this is a card that I was... That I, it was suggested by Sodek the other day. We were, we were talking before before uh, we were doing commentary for the MSL on Monday, and he said that he wanted to, he was trying out Boil in the Cyborg of Amulet, and I, I'm like, huh, okay, okay, I see where you're coming from. You know, the fact that we can end step Boil, your opponent is forced to tap out, and then, to tap out, and then you can kind of like set up a, a free turn where you can tighten, uh, can potentially be be a big deal. So uh, we're gonna give that a shot and see see what's up. And then, because of all the prowess uh, running around, I'm playing a couple of uh, fire spouts uh, and one upgrade uh, in place of the dismembers. I maybe this should be three fire spouts. Maybe this should be two upgrade, one fire spout. We're gonna see. We're gonna figure that out. Only a single energy the explosives though, because we're adding fire spouts instead. So yeah, very weird list. Very weird list. We're gonna see how it goes. Have I seen the new card, Manascape Refractor? No, I have not, Kimpochi. Would you mind sharing? Hey, Friars, how's it going? Yeah, yeah, uh, I, when Sonic suggested it, I'm like, that's crazy, but it's, you know, it's crazy enough to work. <laughs> you know? Uh, so, I mean, we're gonna see what's up. We're gonna see what happens. Uh, oof. This hand is super sketchy, I think. Oh man, it's so close to a key, but I'm, I'm gonna ship it. Like, if, if, if we, we actually had access to a reliable bruisers, I would keep it, but since we don't. Uh, we're gonna keep this one though, and I think we're gonna bottom this Stacy. And we're gonna turn one amulet. Turn to explore, hoping to find a bounce line. If we find a bounce line, we're gonna be golden, but that's the goal. Mono Green Tron. Okay. Bounce land? Easy. Uh too bad we don't have actual lethal here because we don't have a second blue source. And we have no way to set that up. We could have played the Yasusa there if we wanted to, but there's no reason for me to. So if we find a blue source, we're gonna win very easily on the next. I guess we we actually don't have lethal now because we're not playing Sun Home, so. Three dot artifact comes into play tapped, and it has all activated bills from all lands you control. Well, is there a new set? Is there a new set coming? Easy. <laughs> uh, okay, so we should still be able to to get close quarters, so this should not be a problem. Uh, 
it's out of Ikoria. I never seen that card, that's crazy. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're gonna have to play Tolari West here. Float double blue. And then we're gonna play Gracer. Play Gruel Turf, bouncing the Tolari West. Do, 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 do. Transmute. Summon respect. Summon respect. Primeval Titan. Cast Primeval Titan. Yes. Um I'm trying to play around not getting like Karn Minus out of the game here. What I'm just gonna see this. Hey Mirror's Masterpiece, welcome. Uh Mana Scape Refractor. Hmm. Seems like something that we are not interested in, in playing, but <laughs> That's such a complex card, it's pretty funny. You may spend mana as though it were mana of any color to pay the activation cost of mana's play refractors. Oh, because you can copy your opponent's land. Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay, that's that's why. Um, so we're playing against Tron, so we want negates. Beast within. And the one of Rex Sage in case they're playing Carnegrade Creator, which we don't know about. Ball we can go. Uh Gracer. I guess we can just cut one Uro. And a couple of explorers. We want Stacy. Just cut all the explorers. Fact. Yeah, for sure, Sam. That's awesome. Yeah. Is is your camp your handle is gonna be Camel that betrays? Because maybe if I'm done streaming by then, I'll for sure give you a host. Um, sure. Let's keep this. It's pretty sketchy, but it's cool. Yeah, definitely. But it's a need till need card. Yeah, it's definitely interesting. I wasn't aware. Of its, of its existence. <laughs> Pony moves to five. Which doesn't really say anything, consider we're getting paired, we are paired against strong, right? It'll be an arena, probably, until I get mode up, I mean, fair enough. It is in Ikoria command the card that won't be more than legal, right? I have I have no idea. I, I hadn't I didn't I wasn't even aware about the existence of this card until right now, so uh, I think I'm gonna take this turn off and I'm gonna draw a card. Oops. With Udo, hoping to find a bounce land. Hopefully we do. That's not a bounce land. Um, yeah, I think we, we play it. Yeah, I was considering 
Consuden holding the, the Vesuva in hand, but without the bounce land, the Vesuva doesn't do anything, so. Alright. If they have the Nighty Tron here, they have the Nighty Tron here, that's fine. They don't poop. They will get one. Yeah, we we won't get one. I mean, we we didn't have lethal, but we were going to be able to destroy two ghost court in my opponent's land, so we're gonna be fine. Uh, okay, okay. Naming giant here. Let's play our amulet and on upkeep, we're gonna blow up the one that my opponent searched for, which is the power plant. Boo, boo, boo. Beast within so good, man. Beast within so good. Maybe they have an interest claim for my amulet here or something. Yeah, it's a little bit annoying, but it's it's not game breaking or anything. The fact that we have dryad means that uh, even if we if we have an ETB tap land, we we do have a play. It would be awesome to draw a land, though. Good job. Good job, Toronto opponent. Good job. Yep. Great job. Here, that's here. Pass the turn. I would imagine they're gonna bounce, they're gonna minus, and one of my duels or one of my bounce lands, maybe Vesuva. Field being gone is, is actually kind of a big deal in this matchup. Field being gone is kind of a big deal. Uh, if our opponent does send us, okay, this, so yeah, we're, we're fine now. Because we can answer the Karn. I have no idea why they didn't minus on my land. It, that's just Tron players doing Tron things. Um, so we're going to do Valakut plus... Um, always yes, always yield. We don't have lethal here. <laughs> I stuck my triggers wrong, chat. God damn it. God damn it. We're still gonna be fine, but still, god damn it. <clears throat> it happens. It happens. Hey Yams, how's it going? Sometimes you just stack your triggers in the opposite direction and you are stupid. <laughs> We're gonna be fine. Yeah, opponent can't really attack here. Uh, that's a Triome. So we're gonna play around the removal on the Dryad here by playing another one. And uh, we're going to swing. We're going to get Tolurio West on a bounce land here.
Um, do we face everything? So my opponent is going to block with this. That's going to be... Oh yeah, th this is just lethal, I think. So we blow up Warm Coil. Everything else goes face. Um, the extra land drop makes this lethal. I'm doing this so they gain three less life, basically. And the modern fireball deck down from a few days ago with a control deck. I had to double check that it was actually you. Did you win with just swing with Snapcaster or not? <laughs> uh, was that the um, the Lurus control deck? Because if so, yes, that's how we won. We just won by our opponents getting tired and concede. Uh, the, the link is in YouTube if you want to check that out. Some amulet, yes, Drake, you are. You are in the in the correct place. Yeah, I've been, I've been playing a fair amount of control decks lately, and actually been doing really well with it. I have an above eighty percent win rate with Yorion control decks right now. I have an above over like. Six or eight leagues or something like that, and I have an uh, and I have an above above eighty percent win rate. I think I went four and one five times, and I five owed once. Two euros, Mace. Um, yeah, so it, it a lot of this deck is uh, kind of geared towards uh, the prevalence of uh, basically the best deck in the format. I think is the Bodos Prowess deck. And that is by a significant margin. So uh, my deck is kind of built uh, with that deck in mind, as you can probably see. We have Udo, we have Arboreal Gracer in the main deck uh, over, over Stacy. Um, four copies of Gracer, only one Stacy, and multiple Uros over something like Explorer or more Asusas. Um, so we're heavily geared towards beating that deck. And your sideboard is also the same way with fire spouts, explosives, and upgrade in the sideboard, including um, what used to be a staple of the deck back in the day, and now it's not so much of a staple anymore. But yeah. Scout has been fantastic for me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, a scout is always fantastic, Drake. Uh, it's just a matter of it dies to. Uh, <laughs> it dies to. Um, Lava Dart, and if everybody's casting Lava Darts, I kind of want to, you know, have my creatures not be that too Lava Darts. Tulsimir is insane against Prowess. Yeah, and also Tulsimir is, is hard to cast, unless you are gearing your mana base towards casting it. How often do you cast Uro for the Grave? Not that often, but when you do, it's really, really impactful. I'll put a multi to six. I think this hand is actually not bad. The fact that we have castle is what's incentivizing me. So any two lands or any single bounce land just allows me to cast a turn four titan with Dryad. I think I'm gonna keep it. It is a slow hand for sure. It is a slow hand for sure. But any bounce land or any random two lands in our... We have 28 lands that we're drawing towards, and 9 of those are basically a 2-for-1, quote-unquote. Also, we're playing against an opponent that did not reveal a companion. I feel like the white side with 12 Seamers could be good. Yeah, yeah, it could be good. Uh, that's... I mean, if, if we have another land on top, that was a great draw. If we don't have another land on top, that was not a good draw. Oh, thank you, GGX member 69. I appreciate it. Yeah, for those of you that don't know, I was actually a guest on the Elo Punters podcast. Uh, let me just share. Let me just share this um, real quick. <laughs> yeah. There it is. I was a guest in the Elo Punters podcast, and you can find, you can check it out there. 
It's uh, I was talking to Bob One and a uh, Gul Ducat, uh, aka Daniel Gutschel. They had me over and we talked about some modern legacy. Daniel talked Pioneer. I did not talk much Pioneer because I don't know much about the format, but yeah, it was it was great. Uh, you know, just like hanging out and talking to them. What is this? Robert, oh man, I were playing against old school John. That's kind of hype. All right, so that's like the best draw ever. We're playing against old school John. They didn't reveal a companion, so I'm assuming that we have to expect some. We have to expect some, uh, what's his name? Blood braids and stuff. They might want to just play nothing. I think they just F6 through their turn. Whoops. Ugh, brutal. Yeah, doesn't bode well for, for our opponent over there. That symbol particularly well for them. Uh, we could Valakut plus Bounce Land here. I think I like that. Killing Bob is, is kind of a priority in this matchup. Always yes, always healed. They can kill my Dryad in response, which would be a little bit annoying, but it's probably still just fine. Okay, so they don't have an answer. So this should be GG's. It was kind of already GG's when they skipped through their turn. And now it's GG's er, basically. I always love getting back at Vesuva, copy bounce land bounce Vesuva. Yeah, 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 but I don't I don't want to go all in on, on the Dryad here. Because there's just no, no no need for me to. Dan Francisco with your one sub. Welcome back, Dan Francisco, for the 15th month in a row. Jeez, Francisco, thank you so much. Good turn three. Yep. Attack with Grazer assert. Oh, that was a punt. Oh man. Force of Despair. My opponent is playing two Forces of Despair, because they pitch Force of Despair to Force of Despair. Miles from Paul Zedriad. Oh, I'm I'm so silly. I'm, I did I just made the same mistake that I that I did earlier. Whoops. I guess if you bounce the same land, it actually works. That's that's interesting. Yeah, I guess I guess that makes sense. All right, a braid we want. Uh, we are expecting Ashiox actually, which is not something that we sh we are expecting often in this matchup anymore. So I guess that we should be prepared for Ashiox. That sucks. Because being prepared for Rashiok is rough. You forgot Azusa. Oh, we, we could we could have uh, we we still have the mana to play Azusa. It's the same. It doesn't matter. Do, 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 do. Got a cavern. Can shave one pact. Uh, I want my amulets. Can maybe shave two gracers. This is a nice setup, though. Hey, Pokey Sun, how's it going? Oh, I'm having a great stream. I mean, I'm playing Amulet. Of course I'm going to have a great stream. So we have a hand that loses to Fulminator slash Pillage. But it's very good overall. I think I'm going to keep it.
the fact that we are looking pretty good against against uh, this is a, this is a fine hand against Ashiok, which is pretty exciting. We have an answer rolled up, and we have multiple explorers. So our best draw would be an untapped green source. Uh, so brooding pool, basic forest, fetch land. Any of those would be very good. Uh, okay, yeah. I, I in the, my opponent not doing anything makes me want to do this here. We'll say Ash to the Primal Command, the one in the main deck. Um, Primal Command is pretty... Sorry, I, I cannot really answer. I, I understand Portuguese, but I cannot really speak it very well. I used to be able to speak it reasonably well, but not anymore, unfortunately. I haven't, I haven't practiced in a really long time. But uh, I, I can answer in English or Spanish this, if, if, you, if, you, if, you, think, if you think that would help. Uh, basically, uh, I think the Primal Command is just a fine card. I don't think it's great. I don't think it's terrible. It's just fine. It's okay. Please play a Bob. Ashiok? Yeah, that's an Ashiok. Fulminator. There we go. Remember when I didn't play my Bounce Land for no reason, chat? Remember when I didn't play my Bounce Land for no reason? Yeah, I remember. That's pretty rough, though. I think I'm going to discard the Azusa here. Feels bad to discard Azusa, but... Second Fulminator would be devastating. But it's okay. We can just move on to game three if that's the case. Oh, Macarta Media. <laughs> yep, precisely. Uh, Liliana. Okay, Liliana's okay. Uh, if we find another green source. We can Liliana, we can pack for Bailoff, which could be interesting. Pitching Lightning Bolt. Okay. Okay. Where are we right now? Are we ahead? Are we behind? Where are we? How is this Liana going to line up with our game plan? So we are two turns away from Titan. Uh... We do have beast within us an answer to the Liana though. Summoner's Pact also is an answer to Liana. So I think I'm just gonna let these thoughts resolve. Probably they should pick the Summoner's Pact, because it allows them to keep on plusing Liliana. And we also know that they didn't have... This was their, their, their draw step here, because otherwise they would have played it last turn. All right, Sam, thank you. Do you think it is really to have a Negation Pact? I'm not missing him in the main deck. Well, uh, it's it's a metagame choice, right? I, I have the one-off copy of Pact in the main deck, because there are still decks like Tron and Agnosium out there. There's been like a... Uh, a solid amount of uh, combo that kind of showed up again in the modern format because of uh, how everybody's playing Lurus decks. So with Adnosian being uh, being a, a, a real contender again, uh, I'd rather have access to some number of counter magic and the Pact of Negation in the main deck 
because my main deck is kind of like by definition geared towards yeah they they do take some respect i think that i think that's correct um with okay so we're gonna pitch the explore here discarding second liliana while they know about beast within what does that mean ashiok Third Liliana. Third Liliana would make sense. K command getting back full minute image. Okay, so that's what it, that means. That is what that means. So we're going to do this then. Still play blue back in the main deck. Yeah, yeah, I mean because Oh wow. That's kind of brutal. So we're going to upkeep destroy this. Yeah, we have to play the castle here. If they top deck Ashiok, that's going to be very bad for us. So I'm, I'm playing blue pack basically because the rest of my main deck is geared towards beating, beating prowess, if that makes sense. Is Castle Sins correct while we know about from the Yes, because it's the only way that I can I can threaten the Titan next turn. Right? Because I was the K command made me discard the vestige. So the only way I can threaten to play a Titan is by playing the castle. And the castle is gonna ETV tapped. So here's the Fulminator, probably. Yep. Probably it's correct for them to blow up the Simic Growth Chamber. Because they know that I have access to a red source already. <laughs> Andrea, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Welcome back for the tenth month in a row, my friend. Hope everything is going well. Fellow streamer, Pi Gonti. I was I was never able to catch any of your streams so far, Andrea. I think that you are just you have the same problem that uh, Meguchi has, which is like you guys just stream whenever I'm sleeping. So <laughs> bad, bad, bad timing. Just got your nice trophy. Nice, nice. Feel a bit guilty for an able year addiction. Gracias, Tuto. <laughs> Third sub of the day. Okay. Ashiok, blood braid. In to choke. Oh my god. Don't bring in choke against Amulet. Do yourselves a favor. If you're interested, if you play Jund, and you're interested in winning the Amulet matchup, just put a Tarmogoyf. Just put a Tarmogoyf in your deck. Tarmogoyf is going to be more impactful than Choke in the Amulet matchup. So, one, two, three, four. Uh, I think I have to play the castle here, actually. So, I think we beat, there's very few things that we don't beat at this point. The things that we don't beat are Ashiok, Potential Fulminator, and Ephotis. Bob at this point probably, yeah, Bob is probably not going to be enough. And now that they have two mana, that means that I'm 
yeah, we, we are just guaranteed to resolve Titan here. So we're gonna play a uh, Radium Fountain. Three, six, eight. So we're gonna get Field of the Dead and Tolaria West here, I think. Um, field plus Triumph is another idea. Field plus Vesuva to copy my own fountain is also a consideration. The problem with that line is that. That means that if our opponent does have a trophy, which is what I'm trying to play around here, then we're not going to get to trigger field. I did lost legacy in prime time. I felt guilty. Wow, brutal. Where's that companion? It's right here. Right here. Triumph doesn't untap. That's that's a good that's a good uh, point. That's a good point. So I guess it's just field Tolaria. Because at this point, I don't even care about bogging them. The problem is that we don't have a second blue source to transmute, so even getting the Solaria is not very useful. I think it's better than all the other alternatives, so we're just gonna do that. So now if they if they trophy my prime time, at least I get it. I get zombies. Bog doesn't do anything. Like if my opponent wants to K command, like make me discard and get back their full mid air, that's that's a great sequence for me. I'm gonna bold face. Okay, so I can get burned out here. Inquisition. Cute. We die to second bold, we die to call against command. We don't die to that. Last from pulse. Yep, yeah, that also kills me. That's okay. All right, let's go to game three. Choke. Uh. I understand Boil. I understand Boil. It's not a good matchup. You kind of have to get a little bit lucky, but Choke is just like... How does Choke work with Dryad? It does work. It does work. So as long as I have a Dryad and play my lands don't untap, the problem is it's so easy for me to play around it, right? And also, if you are if you have a choke in play, that means that you cannot answer my dryad, right? Otherwise, you are nullifying your own choke, with me, which means that if I find a Valakut, I'm just going to kill you. What does Boil come in against uh, every deck where you would think that Boil is good? If there's a matchup that you're thinking of that you would think that Boyle would be good against, that's where it would it, it would come in. It's mostly against control decks. The existence of Aether Gust means that Cavern, uh, even though it's pretty good, it's still not as good as it could be. So thoughtsies, okay. <clears throat> Do we just hold off on dry when we have boil? I mean, it's going to depend. It's gonna do. It's going to very, very much depend on what what situation, like what the situation calls for. It's gonna be on a case by case basis. Is there's no hard rule with something like that? Honestly.
Honestly, there's kind of like never a hard rule when it comes to anything in Magic. You can always find an exception for anything. So I imagine they have a Bob here. That's why they discarded the Abraith with the Thoughtseize. And they're going to try to hold me off. Yeah. So it's a good strategy. It's a good strategy. The fact that the top of my deck has not been cooperating definitely doesn't help. If you cast Dryad after Chokis on the battlefield, works the same as Wobblin? E no, if you cast Dryad afterwards, your lands become islands, and now they, do, they won't untap. If you look at the world in it, it's pretty straightforward overall. Liliana is interesting. Just gonna discard the cavern here. Play Breeding Pool, we're threatening casting Titan next turn. The problem is that our opponent knows about the castle, I think. Do they know about the castle? I think they do know about the castle. Well, they are going to know about the castle now. <laughs> Bob too early for John is such a beating for us. Yeah, Bob is like the main way that we lose to John is an early Bob. Inquisition getting discarded. Interesting. Yeah, that, that's what I was thinking. Maybe I should... Because they showed me choke the previous game, maybe I should have uh, shocked for the breeding pool. Because now I might get punished. If they have exactly choke here, or they would be into choke. You're definitely you're definitely right, uh, cool turb there. Certainly right there. <laughs> Our opponent is very slow. They are very very slow at playing. We're literally ten minutes. <laughs> We're 10 minutes ahead on clock. Literal 10 minutes. Sure. Pony is playing Boomer mid range. <laughs> Don't even play the cool version. Not even playing the cool version of mid range. We could get got by Choke here, but again, that means that they cannot answer my Dryad. So if I draw a natural Valakut, full Minator Mage, that's brutal. That is brutal. So they're going to be able to Lily Minus plus Fulminator, the Boros Garrison.
Discarding Titan there because any untapped land, even even through Fulminator with any untapped land, we just win the game. Could we just Valakut the Liliana away? So any untapped land wins for us. If they have a Thoughtseize though, we're, we're in a lot of trouble. But it's okay. Like, I, I'd rather play around the cards that I know about, right? What's up with the Twitch Rhyme sub? Thank you for the fourth month in a row. Fourth month in a row, fourth sub of the day. Ugh. Yeah, you're gonna play the Fulminator of one, it's just like... Every action they take is a freaking agony. <laughs> Every action they take is an agony. Uh, this is bad against Lightning Bolt, they don't have Fatal Push though. Hey, good to play. <sighs> also, M nineteen basic. We're keeping the three lands for sure. Too bad because he answered my it answers my dread. Holy crap. Really? Another Liliana would be devastating. Ashiok we probably can't beat. Blood Raid is a very real clock. Into Bob is so that's really good. That's really, really good. This might be the most painful matchup I've seen. I've definitely played more painful matchups. If we draw Castle, we win, though. So there's that. <laughs> Another Blood Braid, okay. If we top deck a Castle Garen Break, I think we actually win the game. No, we, we actually win the game. Take my Titan. Unless they have another Haymaker here, which they do. <laughs> which they do, of course. <laughs> All right. It's the power of Bob, right? It is the power of Bob. Choke. <laughs> they should make themselves sack a creature here for sure. They're gonna fight, find the lightning bolt or something. Just wait for it. Tarmogoyf. All right. They need to. They need to minus on themselves post combat. Oh my god, is my my opponent's giving me a shot! <laughs> oh my god! Opponent, why would you do this? 
Why would you do this ever? Wow. Reveal brother. You have to be kidding me. Really? Really? Come on. Come on. You have to be fair, Magic Online. You have to be fair. The better player needs to win. That's how magic works. That's not how magic works. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We got, we got got there. That's so unfair. That is so unfair. All right, I'm gonna have to take a, a short little toilet break. We'll be right back. Okay, let's look at this hand. We have nine bounce lands to draw towards. We get the better on this. Okay. I call that one, yeah. This hand on the play, I guess it is a keep. It's not the most exciting keep I've ever seen, but it's probably a keep. How can you take literally, what was it? Like we had like 15, more than 15 minutes ahead on clock with them. How can you take that long and still arrive at the strictly incorrect decision? <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Opponent also moves to six humans. I wonder if they know who I am and they mulligan to... <laughs> That has happened to me. And they just mulligan to uh to meddling mage. Point is playing humans without your permission. And I mean the humans are okay. Take four here. No main deck EE, so that's kind of a big deal.
So I guess that the correct line is for me to play Bog plus Castle. Because any untapped green source gives me Titan mana for next turn. So this is the Lord. Yeah, the Lord's pretty good. Very good against Uro too. They can also pay two and sack two humans to to kill my titan, which is pretty big game. Man, I'm just like I'm literally never lucky. Uh, well, I'm just dead. How can I win this game? We gain three of this Udo. I draw into. We're at 10, we take 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If we draw into a 1 drop, Dryad doesn't cut it. Like, I'm already dead on board if I play Dryad. So I need to play Udo here. Pact of Negation. <laughs> uh. Okay, Breathe, Fire Spout, Explosives, Corsair, Bayloth, Beast Withins. Packed out, this out, one prime time out, um, bog out, one explore, two explores. Yeah, I guess I'd rather have Udo. Is that a boil? No, it's two boils. It's two boils in the sideboard. Scout is pretty good in this matchup, and not very likely to die, so I guess I'll just cut Ghostwater. It's like the worst option. <laughs> you're, you're good, Yash, I, I was just messing with you. And Beast Within is so bad in this matchup, but you just need to kill Medley Mage. Giving giving a 3-3 three, three to your human's opponent. Not where you wanna be. Man, that match against Junt. Holy crap. I'm still slightly, slightly tilted. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this hand. Why only three Titan? There's a card that's called Medley Mage. Medley Mage is a card that doesn't allow you to cast the creatures, uh, the cards with the chosen name. You only need a single primeval titan to beat this matchup. And you don't want you never ever want to draw more than exactly one primeval titan. Because of that, is that I choose to sideboard out one of the primeval titans. So they never get stranded in my hand. Yeah, like you you always need to draw exactly one. And your opponent cannot, their only way to stop you from casting it is Medley Mage, so... What is this? Thalia. Yeah, yeah that, that one doesn't do anything at all. Okay. <laughs> I think we dry it here. No, oops. Almost misclicked. Bounce Radiant Fountain, pass the turn. If they have Medley Mage, this game might be close. 
If they don't have Meddling Mage, this game is over. They probably just have it. No. Alright, GG's. They can't even they can't even cast this member with Ancient Cigarette. So we know that this game is over. <laughs> they don't even have a good attack, that's funny. Oh, that, that was a mistake. Whoops. Uh, we actually cannot cast... I, I forgot about the, the onboard Thalia. Yeah. That was a mistake. I missed I missed out on a Balaka trigger there. It's gonna be fine. Like, it, it's just not gonna matter. Like, the, this, this game is just over. So, we're gonna do Valakid plus Vesuva? Valakut Field is exciting. Let's do that. Kill here. Kill... the Thalia? Sure. Pew pew pew! Exactly. Exactly how I feel. Yeah, because of Thalia, I don't like Explore and Ancient Steerings in this matchup. They can be a little bit awkward. Thank you for that follow there, C. Johnson. I want to keep seven. Just reopened it. My dexters from the last few tournament play. There's your server guide printed. I'm <laughs> nice in Yasha. Nice. Uh, yeah, I don't think we can keep this. Huh. Well, this is pretty interesting. This end is a fun experiment. Yep, I think I think it's a keep though. I think it's a keep. Um, would would love to draw something that speeds up this field. That's not it. Yeah, it even, it even um, trades with a lot of their creatures too, which is funny. Oh, give me that explosives off the top. Give me that explosives off the top. Explosives, 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 explosives. Or just more lands. That's also fine. Get in there, Gracer. Yeah! Can't go into Explore, Explore if I draw it. There's only one Explore. Usa. There's only one Explore in the, in the deck left. Gracer punching the clock. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, having drawn back to back lands is definitely very bad for us. Very, very bad there.
This time I'm not gonna attack. The damage is it's kind of not relevant. Medley Mage. Probably gonna name Primeval Titan. But they don't have attacks, right? That is basically why I kept the hand, because they don't have attacks. I guess they could have a Lord, which would make things very awkward. Protect, he attack, he puts a line tap. Yeah. This was definitely a very experimental hand, they just did not come together. <laughs> that's that's the story of this hand. Okay, we're gonna see the vial trick. Probably multiple vial trick vial activations here with that trigger on the stack. Top champ 420, thank you for the follow. Please copy Mantis Rider, 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 please copy Mantis Rider. Yes, that's even better for me. Someone respect. Okay, so we're gonna take seven here, I think. Oh, sure. This is a very important interaction in the humans matchup. Uh, both Sun Home, any of the lands. Uh, I think Hanwar Garrison too. Um, Yeah, I think I just want to drop the 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, they just they should have copied the lieutenant to buff their other dudes, but they copied something that didn't do anything, which is a lot better for me, of course. What did we lose in the prior matchup to my opponent being a luck sack? Uh, it was Junt. Old school Junt with blood raids. My opponent, they were at one and they had an onboard Liliana, they could have minus on their own Bob and they, they didn't. They chose to discard to plus and discard the card when I was when I was actually hellbent. And then they flipped the land off top of the top, of course. Suicide Junt. <laughs> That's funny. Speaking of draws that did not come together, huh? Speaking of draws that did not come together... Uh, are we Dobbs here? 
So we're taking five blocking here, blocking here, five, nine. Yeah, we're just stops. I don't even know what I'm doing here. I guess this wouldn't even have done anything at this point. Too late for this. It's okay, we're experimenting today. <laughs> we're playing against um, Todd Anderson. Name Beast. Play semi growth. Pass the turn. Okay, so it's like the Giruda Titan list, I guess. So the secret here is we need to outfield our opponent. Okay. Giant, play Dryad. So any untapped land would be good for us. If they go ramp spell, ramp spell, that would be bad for us. For a while, thank you for introducing me to... Oh, thank you, C. Johnson. Glad that you, you've been enjoying it. Demon? Definitely the wrong thing to name. Kraken was the, was the correct thing to name there. All right, so we're gonna face, we're gonna be facing the Kraken next turn. Scar doesn't do anything. So let's start with Explore. Azusa. One, two, three, four, five. So, I'm gonna bog them. Then I'm going to name Giant here. And I think that the play is to just play out my Tolari West. Turn. They didn't suck Steve. Okay, so they had another land. Okay, so they're, I guess, planning to. to get some sun balls into play. They did mail one of their own fields, which is good for us. So I guess the best draw step for us would be... Bounce line would be pretty nice. Radiant Fountain. So we're just gonna Valak it. Yeah. Did we have lethal? Valak it plus Vesuva, we have four land drops. That is six. Yeah, we have we had enough to kill them. Well, we definitely want Beast Withings. Okay. 
they could have damping sphere. Should we? <laughs> Alright, I'm down to meme. I'm, I'm down to meme. Okay, I, I, I will meme. I will meme, I think. Uh, but Jugobog doesn't do anything, right? It's just an ETB tapped Black Source, which is irrelevant. Uh, Asusa is actually pretty important in the matchup because it allows us to... It allows us to... Um, to out-zombie them. Bob in the deck to begin with is a meme. Yeah, it's something that Sodex suggested the, suggested the other day, and I'm like, sure, I'll, I'll try it out. You know, it's it's kind of whatever. I'm drowned. I'm I'm down to to meme. Sneep. That is actually very good. Turn three Titan with Dryad. Sign me up, baby. Hey, Andrea, how's it going? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is this is priceless. A uh, big fan of what's going on right here. Yes, yes. Is it gonna happen? Hallowed fountain, breeding pool. Into it. I'm into it. So, this is basically double stone rain. One, two, three, four. <laughs> oh, this is good content. <laughs> uh, that's good stuff, that's good stuff. <laughs> Oh, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. Uh, <laughs> Let's see if we find ugh, wrong kind of forest. Get comboed out here. But if we don't, we're probably gonna win, I think. hilarious <laughs> oh that's that's good stuff that's good stuff <laughs> uh. 
Uh, that's good stuff. Boil too strong! Indeed. Boil was the absolute blowout, right? Oh man, look at this ham. Look at this ham. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna play around discard spell here. Countless versions still? Yeah, we're, we're trying out stuff. Uh, Mundrius. Mundrius. Ooh, Leaving End! Okay. What did he say? Uh, he was saying, oh man, I'm so unlucky. And then he would, he said, oh, just kidding, my deck sucks. <laughs> what is this? Upkeep Beast Within? That would actually be kind of annoying. Like, see me spirit guide beast within. Yep. It is kind of annoying. For real. Uh... Let's play Stacy and this. Usually the way that this, this matchup goes is, uh, does my opponent have the Fulminator or not? If they have the Fulminator, the matchup is pretty close. If they don't, then we, we roll them over. Interesting that they fetch for a Forest, because Forest does not cast Fulminator. Which color do you find most oppressive for the ML? It would be blue. What what do you mean by that? This I don't understand the question. We have already another summon respect. Uh, we don't die to Blood Moon. So we got our damage in. And now we're pro they're probably going to, in response to the trigger. Cast their thing. Yeah. Violent outburst. So this is what a six four, a three four, and a six four. So that's twelve fifteen. They're at nine. We pay for Pact, then we cast our Dryad. They don't have lethal. So, unless they have an answer to my Dryad. We're at 20. So, 
So we get Valakut plus Bounce Land with this trigger. We bounce the Valakut. So we have to hold on to this Cruel Turf. Okay, so we lose to exactly Fulminator Mage. Yes, okay. So we don't activate the scout because we need to have a land. In okay, I guess we're going to have a land in hand anyway, right? Because we're going to have the basic forest. Yeah, so I guess it's better for me to activate. And I'm, I'm not going to be playing around main deck Blood Moon or any nonsense like that. So, Balakut, Vesuva, Vesuva is going to copy this, Vesuva is going to bounce itself. Here I go! <clears throat> Full Minator Mage or Bust! Full Minator Mage or Bust. I guess they could have another beast within, so like Fruit Nader Mage or Beast Within or Bust. Oh no, that's bad news for me. Don't tap mana. Oh, that is fine. Now tap more mana. Tap more mana. <laughs> they didn't tap enough mana. Don't have it, don't have it. Don't have it. Easy. Blood Braid plus Outbursts, that would be interesting. All right, Negates, uh, Beast Withins, and uh, they sometimes play They sometimes play Blood Moon. They sometimes play Blood Moon. Oh, thank you, Yamsk. So... Uh, Cavern is kind of mana fixing. I think I'm just going to cut the... Go Squatter. Pact is actually, the green Pact is pretty unreliable. I like cutting it in this matchup. Uh, Scout is good, Gracer is kind of medium. Sure. Fine hand, fine hand. Not incredible, but very good. Uh, having the one of scout and just drawing it whenever whenever I want it is is pretty pretty great. <clears throat> it truly is a skill game, yeah, of course. Hundred percent skill, no luck involved. Stacy allowing us to play our own full Minero is just so nice. My favorite part about Living End is how it just loses to itself a fair amount of the time. If you just like draw the wrong parts of your deck, I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna play the Dryad here. I think I'm just going to hold up. St ah, 
Actually, I regret that. No, we're just going to... We're not going to hold up Stacy. Just going to play our Dryad. Play our Castle and say go. Because if they... If they blow up... Like, if they spend their turn... Playing Furminator and blowing up my Sim Ghost Chamber, like we win. So, so that's probably good for us. Okay. They're doing stuff. Cycling away. Best draw, probably Pact of Negation. Gonna tap out for Fool Me. Oh, the Monic Dread, just like, okay. So this is the Sorcery Speed Cascade. Okay, so we're gonna get to Freely Prime Time here, which is nice. What can we do with this Prime Time though? That, that's the wrong forest, that sucks. Six plus four. Okay, so it's it's gonna be very lethal. So what can we do? So we're gonna get Bordos Garrison, that's three lands into play. We're gonna get have white floating. That's gonna that's gonna be three lands into play plus two. That's gonna be five. We're gonna be able to make zombies here. So we're not dead, but I definitely want to make sure that I set up a kill for next turn. Explore pays for itself, but I would like to make more land drops. That's what I'm trying to fi figure out. Can haze with Valakut? Yeah, but why? Can Pochi? And I'm, I'm also trying to figure out which land I'm going to be bouncing. Like, there, there's a lot of things to consider here. I don't, I don't want to make it do anything hasty. Like, we know that we're, we're going to be playing Boros Garrison and we're going to activate. But then what? So that's going to bring us Stronghold plus Balakut or Triome are going to be... I guess I'd rather have the Balakut in play. So that's probably better. We attack, and then on the attack trigger. Yeah, but you see this? I think I want to hold on to the Bordos Garrison in hand. So that I can, on the attack trigger, I can go get Field plus Dolario West. Yeah, that seems better. Let's do that. So we're going to hold the, uh, the Bordos Garrison in hand. And Explore is not free because of that, right? If I use the green source here, then... Well, I guess that I could bounce and replay this, so never mind, yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm always trying to make sure that I know how my following turn is going to be looking like. I don't want to just, you know, make plays at random or make hasty plays and then get punished by them. Tularia, Field of the Dead. We can't explore here, but it's fine. 
Titan is a pretty hasty play. That's true. That is true. Hey, he's here. How's it going? Remember that dry arts make these rates unblockable. That's that's cute and hilarious. I love it. So I think my opponent might have another one of these. And they're trying to see if they can set up lethal. So they can make my Titan not be able to block, but then we just double block with both zombies. And we only take 6, 9, 12, so we're fine. Trading here is fine. We already have another Titan rolled up. Again, Fulminator would be a problem. Because <clears throat> Fulminator can destroy my T-West. Just gonna block the two dudes that can potentially kill me. And everything is gonna be great. Block and block, take six. They probably fear field more than another Titan. Uh, if they do, then they would be wrong. <laughs> Titan is a lot more likely to kill them than field. At his home. Destroy my amulet. That's not. Yeah, that's not a good one. Not a good idea. So we're gonna get Vesuva, Copying Field, and Crumbling Vestige. So they're going to go down to one. Dig the no sound home. Uh, I'm still not sure about the no sound home thing. Uh, should we play our own blood moon? Seems like Blood Moon is the only way that I can lose here. So I guess we might as well do that. Yeah, sure. Are you gonna give Karn a spin in the nearest future? I, as long as Prowess is the best deck in the format, I don't think that I want to be messing around with Karn, you know? Yeah, they didn't destroy Tolaria and they didn't destroy the field either. So I, I, don't, I don't understand what they were expecting there. Maybe I'm about to I'm about to get caught by something. I don't think that's the case though. Um, double mana morph into cryptic command tap your team would be lethal though. So I guess that's my opponent's winning line.
They can leave in end again, which is lethal for me. <laughs> okay, Fairy Macabre into Living End again. That's their line. That's the way they, they can potentially win. And even still, I think I, I still think I'm ahead. Sky Sovereign and my girl both joining. And I can only say one. Crew Asus and Dryad are gonna be shooting balls on my boat for it. <laughs> That's good stuff. That's good stuff. I don't know if Metamorphose is that good with Cascade cards. I mean, maybe they have a sideboard plan, you know? He's you. Maybe they want to Cascade into fixing their mana. You see what I'm saying? And I don't want to kill any of their creatures, because that's bad for me. Two, three, four. We could transmute for blue back here. No that not that any of these matters at all, right? Again, as I was saying, if your opponent does not have full Minotaur Mage, it's it's not particularly close. Um, if your opponent does have the full Minotaur Mage, then we have a game. And sometimes if they are able to activate... You can beat the first full Minotaur activation, you cannot really beat the second full Minotaur activation. Um, but if there's no full Minotaur, then we, we basically can't lose. I love how they can't even live in end or they die. Yeah, exactly. That's that's what's funny. Um, I think I'm gonna play another league with this with this kind of meme list. It was fun. It was fun. I I, I like I liked boiling Todd. That was that was that was some that was some good some good meme value there. Um, yeah, let's fire it up again. Let's fire up again. Uh, I'm gonna take a short break. Thank you if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.